Aloha mai kako. My name is Tiari Lawrence. We're here in the beautiful island of Maui um, in my backyard. When I'm not surfing or prowling, I spend a lot of time back here growing my own vegetables, fruits and flowers. I just really love having that space to connect to Aina, to grow my own food, know where my food comes from, um, and just really share that time with my, with my children. Anyhow, um, I was able to take a Korean natural farming class last year where I learned how to make a super basic plant fertilizer using only two ingredients. And it's um, super easy, so we'll get started. Um, first things first, you're gonna need a pound of sugar, a pound of plant material, it can be anything. It can be weeds, it could be leaves, it could be flowers, just anything that's a plant, plant material. Um, today I'm gonna be using kukui leaves from this tree right here. And um, you'll need a bowl, a kitchen, a food scale, um, a cutting board, a knife, and so we'll get started. So just to kind of show you and get an idea of what I'm doing, um, this is fertilizer that I made about four days ago and it's been sitting. Um, I'm probably gonna let this sit for another couple weeks before I um, drain the liquid, liquid. And then when that's done, you'll have something that looks like this. Um, and you want it to ferment until it starts to bubble. It's gonna have this funky smell, but that means the, the fermentation process is, is going and, um, and that's when you know your fertilizer is ready. So we'll get started. Um, one thing to, to remember is to harvest your plant material before the sunrise. Um, you want that morning dew and that's when the plant hormones um, are more abundant and so it's better to harvest first thing in the morning. Um, yeah, and then you wanna make your fertilizer like right after you harvest, harvest whatever plant material you've harvested. Um, so we'll get started. So I have my kitchen scale here and I'm just going to take these leaves, roll them up, and then I'm just going to chop them up nice and small, like so, and um, put it in a bowl. And I've already weighed my plant material, so I have a pound of plant material and a pound of sugar. So I'm just gonna take that plant material, put it in a bigger bowl, take my pound of sugar, and it's brown sugar. Remember, you have to use brown sugar, not white sugar. And then you're just going to really rub that sugar in, massage that plant material, really mix it up nicely. You can see there, just, you're gonna wanna mix it real nice. Well, probably do this for like three to five minutes, but when you're done doing that part, you're just gonna take your plant material and you're gonna put it in a glass jar, like so. This fertilizer is great. It'll provide your plants the beneficial plant hormones and nutrients and microorganisms it needs. And um, I gotta tell you, every time I, I, well, I use this as a foliar spray and every time I use it, especially on my chili peppers, they love it. Okay. And then you're just going to take a tool and you really, really wanna push that down. You wanna get all the air out. You really wanna push that down. Get it nice and tight. Keep working it in. And you're gonna to wanna to keep doing this until it's real compact. Just keep pushing that down. Yep. And then I'm gonna take some leftover sugar and put it at the top of it. Like that. And just keep pushing that down all that air out okay there you go and then you're just going to take a paper towel a rubber band place it on top put it in a 
dark room and let that ferment for about two to three weeks. Um, and then you have, you have fermented plant juice. And so in about a couple weeks, I'm going to drain this and then I'm just going to transfer that liquid into a smaller jar. And so this is pretty potent. You're not going to put th just this onto your plants. So you have to, you're going to have to mix it with water. And so I'm just going to put some of that in there and don't need much. Just real little bit. And then I'm going to put some water. And then we're going to add water. And voila, you've got some really amazing fermented plant juice fertilizer. All right. And so this is my habanero plant and my chili peppers love, love, love this stuff. I swear, every time I put it on, it sh they just grow really well. And so you're just gonna take your foliar spray, you're gonna mix it. And then now you have a nice foliar spray that you can use around your garden to give your plants the nutrients and the microorganisms and those beneficial plant hormones it needs so that you can have a nice healthy plant and that's how you make fermented plant juice fertilizer um, there's a lot of tutorials online um, to learn more about different styles or different techniques but um, this is super basic and just good to have and this will last me a long time um, but I'll just go around my my garden and you know when I feel like they're struggling and needing a little bit of nutrients just give them some love and there you go uh, thanks for joining me and mahalo mahalo olukai for allowing the up giving me the opportunity to um to share this mana'o with you folks today Auhi ho.